This tip will show you the impact position and how to achieve the correct impact position while making an athletic motion. Impact is arguably the most important point in the game. Impact is simply defined as the point at which you strike or impact or compress the golf ball. If you don't know how to do that fundamentally or correctly, you're going to struggle and you're not going to ever really be able to get a lot better. Your swing is going to have a lot of, a lot of timing and adjustment and compensation. If we freeze and break down the impact position for you, it'll look like this. We're going to show you each body part and uh, how it has to be in the impact position. Okay, I'm going to swing the club down and you'll notice most importantly the handle of the golf club or the grip where my hands are, the hands are forward. The club head is back up here and the hands are forward leading into the impact zone. When I get into impact, the club will be looking like this with the hands in front. You can see that the left arm and the club are in one straight line. The handle of the golf club is about four to six inches in front of the club head. People that impact the golf ball improperly look like this too much where they take their wrists and try to throw the club head at the ball. One of the keys to making great impact is to drive the handle of the golf club into here near the knees, leading it forward, and then at impact the handle will still remain in front. That golf club will do what we call release into the ball. So hands come in first and then this is your impact position. Now you'll notice if you look at the body positioning, my feet are still on the ground. For some golfers the right leg is up slightly. I have my feet down, but again some have it up just a little bit. But we don't want to be way up off our feet. It's a very common problem where we see a lot of lifting at impact. So again, we're into the impact position. We've got the left arm and the shaft in a straight line. We've got the feet on the ground. I feel a little pressing into the ground. The handle's actually a little down and forward along with my weight a little down. Most people come up and that's a huge error. The hands get up, the weight gets up, and, and the grip comes up. You want to feel a little pressing into the ground. That helps you get a divot. So my feet are down. My knees are what we call square. Many golfers make the mistake of having their knees be too what's called open or like this. They think they need to lead with the hips and they take the knee with it and they wind up looking like this and that causes them to come up. So I've got my feet down, I've got my knees square, and my hips are going to be a little open. Okay? My core and hips have led to the point where they're a little open, but my shoulders are still square. Most people get confused. They try to get opening up too early and then their bodies open to the left too much. Okay? I want to make sure that my knees and my shoulders are square. So let's review that one more time from the ground up. At impact, we've got the hands in front, the shoulder, left arm, and club shaft are in pretty much a straight line with a slight bit of downward pressure into the ground. That's going to help you get a little divot and get the ball up in the air. Very important. We've got the feet on the ground, right foot can be slightly up, knees are square, hips are slightly open with the core leading a little bit, but shoulders are square. We've shown you the position of impact, now it's time to teach you how to get there through means of a motion or an athletic movement. This is an impact bag. It provides just enough resistance so that I can freeze the impact position, but I can make a motion leading into it. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start to make small swings about waist high. I'm really just focusing on my arm motion. I'm not going to get a lot of body motion involved. I'm not going to start to use my hips or my, my core very much. I'm just going to start with my arm motion, and I'm going to practice keeping my arms extended and teach myself how to get the club into impact, the position we talked about, with the handle slightly forward, about four to six inches, my feet on the ground, and I'm putting that little bit of downward pressure onto the handle or the grip of the club. So again, I'm just using my arms and I'm freezing it. Okay, we can see how my weight is shifted as a function of the motion, and I'm learning to get the handle in here first. The handle is another way of saying the grip. Learning to get the handle in there first as opposed to using my wrists 
and throwing the club head at it. Remember, less talented golfers throw the club head at it, better golfers all drive the handle in and learn to lead with the handle. I know that's a little counterintuitive, but that's how it works. So again, I'm driving the hands in through this waist high motion and I'm just practicing feeling where my feet are, feeling my knees, feeling my shoulders square. Now once I've gotten good at this sort of arms only half swing, I can start to throw a little body motion in. I can start to feel my hips start to turn. I can start to feel my core start to lead a little through the ball, the shot. And I'm starting to add a little power where I can actually move the bag some. So that's going to add a little more thrust and power into it. So we're starting with the arms. We're then adding a little body motion in, but I'm being very careful to keep my knees square and to keep my shoulders square. I'm not getting like this, where I'm pulling away from the ball. And then when I start getting a little better at this, I'm going to add in the power and start to move the bag a little further. We've shown you how to make the swing from about waist high into impact. Now once that bottom half is mastered, we're going to start to take the club up a little further and then achieve the same coordination coming down from a longer backswing position. So we've gotten to here and we've gotten the arms moving and then a little bit of body action. Now we're going to start to take it further into more of a full backswing. So instead of being down to about 9 o'clock here, my arms are up near uh, 11 or 12 o'clock. I'm getting a much more rotated position. Now from here there's a little bit different sequence to what happens. Whereas from down here we just started firing the hips through. From up here we're going to lead with the hands. The hands need to come down into what's called the delivery position or the slot right here. And then we're going to let that body start to fire. So you, on the bottom it's arms first and then you start to add a little body in. Then when you get bigger it's hands down then body. So when you start to use a golf ball it's going to look like this. You're going to take it to the top, you're going to work on getting your hands down and then you're going to release your body through to impact. If I speed that up, it looks like this. We're going to show you a couple drills in case you don't have an impact bag or a resource like it. Very easy drills you can do with simple props or with just uh, drawing some lines in the ground like this tip upcoming. All I've done here is I've drawn two lines in the ground, one even with the golf ball and one about six inches in front of the golf ball. These lines are going to represent at impact where I want the handle which is on the forward line and then where I want the club head which is on the line to the right of the initial line. All I'm going to do is practice bringing my club in and freezing my impact position so that the grip of the handle matches the front line and then the club head matches the back line. Ideally I can start even swinging and practice taking a little divot that goes just past the back, back of the two lines. So when I start to swing the golf club I'm going to make some swings, the handle will come in first and then the club head will meet the golf ball at the right spot. Now as you can see the divot is past the line, I achieved an excellent impact position and my ball went straight. Another simple way to practice your impact position is just to take an object like this wooden board, it's a two by four that sits on our driving range, and to just practice your setup position first and then just pushing the board to your impact position. You'll notice that my hands start about even with what would be the, would be the golf ball, which is the back of the board, and then from there I'm just practicing pushing it by driving the handle forward and a little bit down. You'll notice that my weight actually pushes into the ground to do that and my shoulders and knees stay square with the weight on my feet. So that's just a very simple but effective way to get a, a kinesthetic feel for impact. Start with the handle even with the golf ball, push it forward a little bit. Move to it, push. It's a very simple way to achieve the impact sensation. Now again, this is not a swinging drill, it's just a static type drill. You wouldn't want to take big swings into the board that uh, wouldn't feel so good. 
We've discussed impact as both a position and then how to make the athletic motion to get there. Just want to review a couple concepts that are very important and a few potential pitfalls so you have the right picture or paradigm of what needs to happen. It's very important to understand that while we're talking about leading with the handle and getting the, the handle or the grip in here first, Okay. We understand that we're not lunging our whole body forward. We're not taking our shoulders and our spine angle and our lower body weight and getting anything outside our shoes. It's got to be very, very important to keep the handle driving, but keep the knees square and to keep the weight on the insides of the feet. We never want to get outside our shoes or lunging forward. So you've got to practice from the top of your swing, you've got to practice just feeling like the handle or the hands move on their own and then you can start to get a little body action in. But you've got to really work on feeling yourself stay in between the feet, never moving laterally or outside the shoes. You want to think of yourself as a hockey player on ice skates. You'd never get this way or this way, you'd fall. Lastly, it's important to practice your impact position and your motion leading to impact every day, every practice session you have. The best players do this constantly. They may have different ways they do it or different styles of how to practice their impact, but you've got to take these drills and do them every time. This is a swing fundamental and it's the most essential one to getting better at golf. So every day you've got to practice getting your club handle into the position and then freezing it and showing yourself where your weight distribution needs to be. Showing yourself the square knees, feeling a little bit of the hip motion with square shoulders all the time. If you want to have lasting uh, development and, and neurological connection to what you're doing, you've got to practice it in a position frequently and you've got to do it constantly. Then you go to hit balls and you put it into motion and you'll just be better at it.